Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com with a quick business video tip for you today all about the etiquette between social media and email marketing. Um, a lot of you are, uh, I, my opinion is that you're not doing this effectively <laughs> or you're doing some spamming things that you want to probably refrain from doing because you're probably pissing off a lot of people that could potentially be prospects for you or referral sources, yet you unknowingly are pushing them away and they are being sometimes, in some instances, repelled by what you're doing. So stop it. Let's just learn the right way and the right etiquette to handle your social media connections in email situations. Uh, so a lot of people out there think, oh, well, I have 3,000 friends on Facebook and 1,000 people in my group on Facebook or my my page, right, that like my page, and I have 1,000 connections in LinkedIn or whatever your number is. That's not the point. The point is you think that you can go to your friend list and or your LinkedIn profile list of contacts and go take all their email addresses and then stick them into your email marketing system like MailChimp, Constant Contact, AWeber, GetResponse, um, One Shopping Cart, Infusionsoft, whatever program you're using to send regular email newsletters, email content, email announcements to your regular email list, that is not where you put your social media people, okay? You can't just add them to an email newsletter list just because they're friends with you on Facebook or a connection with you on LinkedIn. They have not given you approval to email them, period. So don't do that because number one, there's many reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is because when we get an email like that in our inbox, I just got one and which has prompted this video. Thank God I was video ready because I just had to grab my microphone and say, ah, okay. So I just got an email. It was like a Halloween email. It's Halloween right now, right? And it's like, oh, spooky, whatever, whatever from this senior care person that deals with seniors. I love people that work with seniors. I used to be in that industry. She, But her email stated something like, or no, it didn't even state. And so she sent me an email that said, oh, spooky, whatever, here's my book, and da-da-da-da, senior care, whatever her company was. I don't want to give her away, right? And it had, like, Halloween stuff in it. And I went to just, in, instead of just clicking to mark as a spammer, or delete, like we can delete these all day long, but they'll still come, right? Which drives me crazy. So I, um, and, and if I wanna be on your email list, maybe in, send me an email to invite me. That's a different topic, hold on, okay. So when I click to unsubscribe, because I try not to click the spam button these days, because if you hit the spam button on those people, then their email address gets really bad reputation. We don't necessarily want to mark them all as spammers because a lot of people just don't know. They just don't know etiquette, which is why I'm trying to do this video. Please share this video um, to educate. We need to educate people. Now, if they continue to do it uh, after they've been educated or they are educated that this is spamming and they decide to do it anyways because they don't care, it's the easiest way to get an email out, well, those people, yes, I will go spam, spam, and then if you get a lot of spam uh, hits from your email um, subscribers or the people that are on your list, your email provider, Constant Contact, MailChimp, whatever, is going to start really limiting your emails, and they could even shut you down. So you don't want to be marked as a spammer, number one. And so please be respectful of other people that just don't know better. A lot of people just don't know what they don't know and they need to be educated, okay? So you don't want to take the emails from social media and put them into an email database. I hope that is clear. Please do not do that. However, there are many, many, many ways to get people on your email list from social media. You just have to know the other things you can be doing. Okay, and I teach that in a lot of my courses. I don't have time to get into that right now, but one of them is like private messaging them and all that kind of thing. I have a whole program in my Jumpstart Your Marketing system that talks about how to do this, how to how to really 
mine, we call it data mining, um, some of your social sites to find prospects and get them on the list, okay? But it is not involved taking them and putting them into a newsletter list. Um, and so beware, did you know that when you get a bunch of emails in your inbox, if you click spam, like mark it as a spam email, that's hurting someone's reputation on the other end. So be careful when you do that. I don't do that to most people. Some people I do um, because they're clearly spam. Like it's an advertisement that somehow got in. It's not somebody from a, they're a local business who's really just trying to do business. So I try to give them the benefit of the doubt. And sometimes when I go to unsubscribe, how I knew it was from LinkedIn was I clicked the unsubscribe link in the bottom of her email and it took me to her page on her constant contact or whatever she has that said LinkedIn mailing list, subscribe or unsubscribe. And so I clicked to unsubscribe, but I saw that she got me on LinkedIn, right? So I know I didn't subscribe to her email list. Uh, so she put me there. And so just, you know, so I knew it was from LinkedIn. Now I noted, so I unsubscribed, but I also put a comment in the box. Hey, FYI, this is really spamming. You're not really supposed to take emails from uh, social media and put them into your email. I mean, that's technically spamming. So just an FYI in case you didn't know that, which is what prompted me to do this video because apparently I don't have a video on this particular topic. So I'm doing a video, I'm gonna upload it and I'm gonna link it in that damn comment box. <laughs> um, and so, when she gets this, she'll know that this was created with her with love. But trust me, there's hundreds and thousands of people doing this, not just you. And I'm just trying to educate. Please don't do this, okay? We want you we want you to get more clients. We want you to get more people on your email list, but invite people. Give us a reason to go to your website and get more information, get a free report, get an audio, get a checklist, whatever. S send us a nice little message. Hey, I thought you might be interested or hey, so-and-so. And then have a link to go to the page. If we're interested, we will click. If not, we won't. And you just have to deal with that. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Please go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Go for, forward slash free trainings, okay? There's a bunch of free stuff in there. If you are not on my email list, you might find something in there that you want to get, either a free checklist, a, a guide on how to start speaking. Um, God, there's my book is free in there. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can get to jumpstart your business and your life on that free training page. So I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, everyone.